All right, so here's my 2023 model year. It took delivery in December of 2022. You can see it was built in December. Um, and like I said, somebody had mentioned that they went to service center and they indicated that the suspension may have changed at some point after my build uh, to a more comfort spec. We have another video showing you the difference between the older spec performance and mine, and mine is softer. So now we had a new customer come in with a brand new build, just took delivery last week. It is March 1st today. And we compare you the part numbers. We'll show you the clips of his shocks compared to mine, but you can see here, 37100F, that's the front. The rear, 46500F here. You can see my springs here, 47500D, 06500D. This is a 2023. 2023, built in December of 2022, model Y performance build. Got our favorite caliper covers right there. And yeah, we'll show you the other ones. And check this surprise out. We have a standard range Austin build that came in, got some Tane Flex Z coilovers installed. Okay, so this is a customer just took delivery. It's a build date of February. 2023. It's brand new performance model Y. It's got our favorite rear caliper covers. No Brembos. He swapped out his wheels to 9 inch Geminis because he travels a lot for work. And we heard from one of you guys that the service center said that they updated the performance shock to the comfort spec, which uh, sounded like he was talking about comfort long range or long range comfort spec OEM suspension. Uh, we didn't believe that. Luckily, we have a brand new build here that we can show you guys the actual part numbers. So we're going to show you that right now. And check this out. Part numbers are different. Look at this upper mount. Very, very different. So if I can get this shock over here and show you guys, look at the difference in the thickness between these upper mounts. We're gonna release a small clip of some photographs we took of when we did this install, kind of showing you how things interface with the chassis differently and are actually a little bit easier for installation, according to Steven. Well, this is way easier. Nice and at the top. So you can see here, part number is completely different. It's got a letter A. So it's the first of the potential multiple revisions Tesla will have. <laughs> Again, here's the rear shock. This is also an A nomenclature um, spring. Part number is here. Again, Austin build standard range Model Y with the new battery pack. New uh, chemistry for that battery pack. My performance rear shock. Again, dimensionally, everything's the same. So no difference there. Uh, the other thing we can show you is actually the rear spring. So this is the standard range Model Y all-wheel drive Austin build compared to, you know what, maybe I can just, yeah, compare it to mine. So you can see how the performance spring is definitely shorter. We measure the coil thicknesses and the number of coils are the same. Uh, the coil thicknesses are within, you know, tenths of a millimeter difference. Could be just thickness of the, of the coating on the, on the springs. But um, yeah, so that's it. Does not look like there's been any late, late revisions uh, on the Model Y performance. I do believe that all the 2023 builds are softer than the older performance Model Ys, but not as soft as a long range Model Ys of the 2023 model year. Thanks for watching.